Hello, everybody. So today we're looking at making decisions inside of pseudocode. Now we've already looked at decisions. Now we're going to go a little bit deeper, actually, and look at nested conditions. That is putting one conditional statement inside of another. So let's take a look at how we're going to do that by deciding if a person is allowed to drive. And I've already got some pseudocode set up here. Age is 18, has licenses true. And I'm just going to come in here and set up my first conditional statement. If age greater than or equal to 16, then. And we've seen this before. Okay, we did the if condition then. We go down to a new line and we indent, and this allows us to have our block of what can we do. But just being older than 16 does not mean that you can drive. You also have to have a license. And so here we have the has license. So I can say if has license, then. Now, you might be looking at going, wait a second. How come you didn't say has license equals true? Well, because has license is a Boolean value, it's already true. I don't have to test to see if it's true. Now, for clarity's sake, if you want to come up here and say has license equals true, you go right ahead and do that. It's always better to be a little bit more clear than to risk confusion. Now, if you're working with people who have some programming experience, they might be like, ah, I understand what he's talking about. We're good. In which case, you don't have to put it. It's entirely up to you and the people who you're writing this pseudocode for. So let's get back to this real quick. I have has license and I'm indented already equal with my if statement for has license. But this is the true block for that if statement. So I'm going to indent one more time. And here I can say print, you can drive. Now, what if I want to have another if statement? Well, then I could write my if statement and then indent for that true body. And I could do this again and again and again. Now, usually we don't have a lot of nested statements, just two, maybe three if we do have nested. So this is perfectly acceptable. Can I have a statement like another print statement or something like that up above and in between my two if statements? Yes. Yes, you can. Can I have something afterwards, maybe an else? Yes. But where would the else go and who would it be applied for? Well, it's very simply based upon the indentation. And that's why indenting makes it so helpful. So if I come here and I say else, notice my else is aligned with my if has license. That means that else for my else block is associated with that if statement. And I can come in here and put a print statement. You must have a license to drive. And I can back it up even more and do an else. And notice that this else is aligned with my if age is greater than or equal to 16. And I can come here and then say print. You must be 16 or older to have a license. So you can see how indentation makes this so much easier to read. Without indentation, it'd be really hard to see, especially if I only had one else. It'd be almost impossible to determine which one it belonged to. But because of my indentation, it makes it so much easier. And that's a big part of what we're trying to do with pseudocode, is find ways to easily describe what it is we're trying to do. Nested if statements is something that does show up periodically. And here is a simple example about how we work through that. Hopefully you like that one. If so, you might want to check out our next video, which is going to be on Boolean conditions inside of our if statements, meaning how do we have two or more conditions met inside the same if statement. So watch that video, which is coming up next, and I hope to see you there.